गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन यू आर कनेक्टेड टू योर ऑनलाइन इंग्लिश क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्टिन्यू विथ चैप्टर नंबर एट रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक नॉन फाइनाइट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन द टर्म फाइनाइट वर्ब एंड नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब्स एंड वी आर नाउ कॉन्टिन्यूइंग विद द टॉपिक द इन्फिनेटिव टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू गो थ्रू वर्कशीट नंबर फोर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट In this worksheet, we are having two infinitive can be used in various patterns. Now we are having various patterns with which we can apply two plus base form of the verb. Let's go through them. At very first place, they hoped to receive the letter soon. Now we see that hope is the verb here, and to receive is an infinitive here. she refused to comment on the matter refused is working as an verb and to plus base form is infinitive next is i know how to put a cell in a watch so we see that here we are applying how this is a question word she remembered where to contact him again in this sentence she is the subject remembered is the verb and where is the question word to contact is infinitive so we are, we can also frame the sentence structure like this subject plus verb plus question word plus infinitive plus object so we are having various verbs which will follow this structure of the sentence like ask decide explain forget learn remember these verbs they follow this kind of sentence structure for example we can say i decided to learn this lesson she explained me how to operate the computer i learned to know how to work on this machine ya how to operate this machine and so on you can frame the sentences like this on the next page we are having he will teach you how to speak in english can you tell me where to find this book now we are framing the sentence structure like this here teach and tell they are acting as verb and you me object and how where is the question word and to speak and to find is working as an infinitive you can also follow this sentence structure or this sentence pattern by using the verbs show ask tell remind me to call him up don't force him to quit the job use job chhodne ke liye force mat karo so force is here we are seeing remind and force verb me and him object to call and to quit is working as an infinitive next is i need a stapler to bind the papers you need a hammer to fix this chair now in this sentence pattern we are seeing that infinitives they are preceded by a noun a stapler is a noun and a hammer is also a noun so infinitives are preceded or followed by a noun in this case when a noun or a pronoun preceded an infinitive it generally suggest what is to be done with it so in this case we see what do we do with the stapler to bind the papers and uh, what do we need a hammer to fix this chair so we are seeing that we will use stapler to bind the papers and hammer to fix the chair so we are getting the answer of the question word what next is it was nice of you to encourage the team wasn't it silly of me to expect a bumper prize from a lottery so here we are seeing that nice and silly are working as adjective of is of is here is an preposition and you me object and to encourage and to expect they are working as an infinitive like we can add up it's nice of you we often use these words it's kind of you to look to look into the matter or we can say it's good of you to help the needy 
or uh, it was uh, worried of you i was worried of you so you can also make use of the verb worry i was worried of you and uh, it's wrong of me to speak like this so here we are making use of the verb wrong it's wrong of me to speak like this similarly you can frame the sentences with the rest of the given verbs last is it is easy for anybody to get this information from the net so it is essential for us to know the clauses of the contract so here we are seeing that easy and essential are working as an adjective and for for uh, after essential and easy we are applying for and us and anybody they are working as an object and to get and to know are infinitives here so we can by using this pattern of sentences this structure pattern we can frame sentences with the adjectives easy tough important difficult essential and necessary as we know that practice makes a man perfect so the more practice we do the more efficiency we will get like we can add up tough it was tough for me to solve this sum and with necessary we can frame a sentence it is necessary for everyone to follow the rule or we can also make use of the adjective common this rule is common for all now we are having exercise to solve complete the following sentences using an infinitive construction so we are having the company wanted now we have to complete it the company wanted we can add up manager the company wanted manager to manage a uh, manager to manage karega na office ko wanted manager to manage office next is the minister promised a minister ne kisse promise kiya the minister promised the public you can frame your own sentences also the minister promised the public the public to repair to repair the roads to repair the roads soon similarly i somehow managed to catch a bus ya to get a bus anything you can add up to i somehow managed to get a bus next is we need a compass ab kiske liye karenge to draw a circle we need a compass to draw a circle and ask a plumber to fix the tap to fix the tap at number 6 the teacher will explain to us how to use the theorem can you tell me where to go kya tum bata sakte ho ki kahan jana hai the doctor advised the patient to take rest for a week and at number 9 i expected to win a lottery next is i expected him to come it was wrong of the film star to behave badly and it is difficult for me to answer the question let's move on the next page we are having at number 13 it is essential for the residents to remain outside and the last is they are expecting the tenants to vacate the house soon so this was your worksheet number 4 i hope it's quite clear to you now you are able to frame sentences by following the structure pattern thanks for watching the video class good